name is Lisa. Welcome to Yoga by Design. When I think about how I used to work, it was very often late into the night and I would be reading, writing, often on deadline for my newspaper column. More and more over the last few years, I try to get up early, do a little reading, my yoga practice and writing. I wanted to bring um, a few books to your attention, some of my favorite books that I've read over the years and reread, and then we'll get into um, a short yoga practice. Loving Frank by Nancy Horan. This was her first debut breakaway novel. Uh, it's about the extraordinary American modernist Frank Lloyd Wright and his love affair with Mei Mei Cheney. Meme was one of his clients in Oak Park, just outside of Chicago. And it describes in wonderful detail um, their love affair and their decision, highly controversial, to run away together to Germany to further Frank's career there and what it was like, the struggle of Meme to leave her three young children uh, and run away with Frank Lloyd Wright. Loving Frank by Nancy Horman. The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton. It's an incredible classic, and I have read and reread this book. In fact, it is very dog eared now, and it has been water soaked uh, during a recent camping trip, uh, which. Uh, in which it, it did become very waterlogged uh, during a massive rainstorm. The Age of Innocence was written by Edith in 1920. The next year she won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction, first time ever uh, the award had been given to a woman. And it charts the uh, very high society of New York in the late 1800s and the arrival of the Countess Elena Olenska and the way she disrupts society uh, and the way she disrupts uh, marriage. So The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton, um, exquisitely written, beautifully observed. And finally today I have a book of poetry by the wonderful, incredibly powerful Rumi. These are 53 Secrets from the Tavern of Love. Um, he was the Persian poet born in the early 1200s in an area now known as Afghanistan. And I give you today um, his writings called The Rose Garden. Find the water of life, drink and be healed. Find the friend in the rose garden, no thorns. They say there's a window from heart to heart, but why a window? There are no walls there. All right, and now we'll get ready for some yoga. Coming up. Okay, taking a comfortable seat, maybe on a block, maybe on a cushion. Uh, relax your legs down into easy pose. Whatever feels good and just sitting up nice and tall, feel the energy from the top of your head and the way that you're seated connected to the earth. Let's bow slightly towards heart. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Two more deep breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale through your nose. And exhale nice and slow. Beautiful. Release hands. Send hands towards heart, bowing to heart. I'm just sending a little bit of thanks and good vibes out to the morning, welcoming the day.
and looking up, relaxing. All right, some very gentle spinal twists. So take your right hand over to left thigh and easing your way around to the left side. Tucking in core, feel the length of your spine. And releasing, coming back to center. Right hand travels back as the left hand connects to right thigh. Take a big inhale and twisting over right. Relaxing face, chin is parallel to the ground, easing over to the right. And let's swing and swing, 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 just loosening up. Starting to feel relaxed, serene, allowing a little calm coming into your whole mind and body. Nice. And coming back to center. Let's drop down face, lifting up face to the sky. And relaxing down. And head circles left ear to left shoulder around up. Right ear to right shoulder, facing down, opposite direction, right ear, back, left ear, down. Shoulders up and rolling back. Shoulders up, rolling back, up, back, up, back, and rolling forward, 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 and relax. Up. Drop, up, drop, nice. All right, feeling good and relaxed. So sometimes we feel a little tense and a little overwhelmed even during the day at the workplace. And one of the kind of kooky ideas is a little bit of face yoga. And it really is that baby-like burbling, gurgling sound. And it does create all kind of tingling relaxation throughout the face and actually relaxes mind. So please do this with me. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Inhale. So you really want to get some movement around your cheeks and then you'll start to feel some tingling up in the forehead. Let's do it again. Inhale. And one more time, inhale. Okay, so maybe not to do on the bus or the streetcar, but definitely something to do wherever, maybe driving or at your own home office and feel the enlivening, the tingling in your face. All right, coming forward, we're coming to all fours, move your block away and just checking in. So we wanna make sure as always, our wrists right below shoulders, knees directly below hips. And this is our wonderful go to it, the cat cow. So right now, facing up, super soft belly, and then rounding, Roman arch, or the cat. Inhale, facing up. Old fashioned cow, as in the ones you see in India, and then rounding, cat. Inhale up and rounding. Beautiful. Coming back to center, still standing up tall on your hands. We're going to move our hips over to the right and then hips to the left. Hips over to the right. If you want, you can extend the right hand to really deepen this stretch and send it flying over to the left. Back to center. Sashay hips to the left, extend your left arm, send it flying over to the right. And back. Nice. Hip openers, right leg up at 90 degrees and down. Here we go. Two and three and four. 
right leg sits down. So we're going to be moving in sets of four today. Let's inhale, lifting up left leg. One, two, three, and four. Beautiful. Let's set our right move. Let's set our right foot all the way back. Standing up tall on hands. Feel the core cinching up. So this might be enough for today. If you want, you can extend your left hand forward. And this is sometimes called bird dog. I like to call it warrior woman. And then pull your right leg way back as if it's coming out of the socket. And feel your breath. Inhale. Exhale. And release. Left leg is coming way back. Pulling back. Right arm extending forward. Standing up tall on your left hand. Warrior woman reaching in opposite directions. Breathing. And relax. Very nice. Let's do another sachet, a big round arch back. And set your hips back a little bit. Get that full, really nice stretch. And beautiful. So that, what I've just done, that whole short uh, series of asana is kind of like the emergency go to it. If you're feeling very stiff, that you have a sore back, or just very tense after a work day or even after waking up in the morning, that you're feeling low energy, those series of stretches and lengthening little core is what you might consider. And I always say um, it's just so great and important, I think, to just keep your yoga mat down in one spot in your, in your home. And even if you're not really feeling it, if you see your yoga mat, if you can just get down on the floor, you might then automatically start moving in ways that are invigorating and really healthy for um, your body, your energy levels, and just feeling present in the moment. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more um, energized uh, core work here. So this is coming into plank pose. Set your hips low. So sometimes we're going way up here. Just like let's set our hips low. And let's breathe here. Counting from four. Three, if it's too much, just drop your knees down. Two, one, and we're gonna tip forward. Let's do that from four. Four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees, flatten feet, lower your torso with your arm strength, and then rolling up to gentle cobra. So gentle cobra, you're going to feel the stretch of your lower back, but we want to also shine our heart forward so we're not overly compressing. Nice, and then let's lift up. Set yourself way back to child's pose, balasana. Connect your forehead to the ground. This is your chance to say thank you, Mother Earth. And breathing. One more deep breath. And then stretch your hands so that you're making big tents or domes with your hands. Feel the length of your back. And then let's side swipe the Hands over to the left and set your right hand on top of left. A moment of self-care. Here we are. Patting our selves 
and just saying, yeah, you got it. You got it going on. Let's come back to center. Stretching your arms and sliding over to right side. Left hand taps down on right. Beautiful. Coming back to center. We're going to walk our hands forward. Again, just directly below shoulders. And push up again to plank pose. So feel the energy. Your thighs are lifted off your kneecaps. Heels are pushing back. And your core connecting up towards your spine. And we're breathing. Four, three, two, one. If you need a break, just drop your knees down. Otherwise, we're counting to four. One, two, three, four. Nice. Drop your knees, flatten feet, lower your torso down. Beautiful. Send your hands to the front, extending into Shalabhasana. So Shalabhasana is a wonderful core builder, lengthener, toner. And we're going to feel the connection from our pelvis to the floor and lift up. Any back pain, just drop your feet down. Lifting up. Four. Three, reach your hands. Two, one, if you can, lift up. And beautiful. Send your hands below your chin and relax everything down. Big inhale, big exhale. Lift up feet, washing feet, windshield wipers back and forth. All right, steadying your feet. Let's flex our feet down. Point toes, flex, point toes, flex, point toes, and flex. Can we do circles with our feet? It's probably really wacky looking and they're probably, mine are very probably asymmetrical, but just enjoy the, the little flex and the movement around ankles. And just recognizing that care of our feet, it's very important. Our feet do so much and they can get inflamed. Um, we can get things like plantar fasciitis and we just need to really take care of them. All right, let's extend our arms again, pulling out our legs at the back. If you need, set your legs down. Coming into another set of Shalavasana, locust pose, lifting up. Use that core strength, gazing forward. Face is relaxed. Four, three, two, and one. Nice, set your chin down on your hands below. Big inhale, big exhale. Hands beside your ribs, and then just push up. Extend way back, counter pose for the child's pose. Beautiful. Coming into our half spinal twist. So left leg is forward, right crosses. Right hand going back, lift up left hand to the sky. Cross left arm and let it lever against your right thigh. And then drop the left hand over to your hip. Look over right shoulder. Breathing here. These are all incredible for energy lifts, for cramps, and for just invigorating all your inter internal organs, such as your liver. And coming back forward. Right leg extends, left foot crosses over, sitting up tall, left hand goes back. Make sure your left foot is planted and 
facing directionally forward. Right hand coming up. Over we go, levering against the left thigh. Sitting up tall, looking over left shoulder. Breathing. And coming forward. Connect both feet. Together we'll come into Paschimottanasana. So this is honoring the west side of your body, which is your whole back side. Lifting up our hands. You can bend up your legs if you like, pop a blanket or a bolster below you or a little block. And we're reaching our hands forward, forward, forward. And then connecting wherever feels good today. Your, could be your shins or your ankles, soles of your feet. Keep things loose. And mostly, again, just focusing on the wonderful stretch of your back. So from your thoracic, your lumbar. Big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale, lifting out of your waistline, and then exhale. Beautiful. And we're going to roll back onto our mat and coming into our bridge pose. So if you have a block, you can certainly place the block between your thighs. It's a discipline to keep our thighs aligned rather than splaying outwards, but it also will help uh, activate and fire up our inner adductor muscles, which are a huge muscle group and we want to make sure that they're strong to give a little bit of a break to our knees um, and just keep things intact, structurally intact. So we're lifting up our hips to the sky and extending both arms. You might already just naturally want to walk your shoulder blades together. We're inhaling up and we're pressing against the block. So if you don't have a block, just press your thighs together. Inhaling up, press against the block. Inhaling up, press against the block. Of course, we're also exhaling. Inhale up, little exhale. Inhale up, press against the block. One more time, inhale up, exhale. All the way down. Beautiful, release your block. Hands to belly. We're just integrating, scanning the body, feeling good, reading the body, starting to really read the body like a book. Let's press the left foot down to the ground, go high with the right, cross the right ankle above left, lift up left foot, Send hands below or behind the left thigh, threading the needle. Both feet are really bright, activated. And then we'll set the left foot down. Over we go towards pillow, block, or the floor with both knees to the left side. Spread eagle your arms, look to the right. Bottom of your feet, checking in. Are you holding and clenching something. Let's de-stress all the way up our body. Nice, coming back on the inhale, unhook right leg. Right foot presses down, up we go with left. And then cross left ankle above right. Lift up right foot, hands behind right thigh. Down we go with right foot. And over we go with both knees connecting to the ground. Looking left. Taking up lots of room here. This is your time. Feel the peace almost like a swirling. Coming across your forehead, nose, cheeks, mouth. Kind of just getting right into the groove here of deep relaxation. 
and breathing, exhale. Unhook your left foot. And when you're ready, we're going to come into Shavasana, which is the best, juiciest relaxation of all. You have to give yourself over to it. So palms are facing up to the sky and feel yourself floating between earth and sky. Set aside your distracting thoughts and your to-do list. Just be here absolutely in the moment. Stay as long as you can in Shavasana. It will help you find new energy and new clarity for things coming up this day. And I'll just say namaste. Namaste.